Bro. So this is losers finals. Yeah. That was winners finals, right? It comes down to frustration too. I mean, once yeah. people start pressing buttons, that's when it's gonna come out. Definitely. But we saw his patience. It worked against Nobi because Nobi is just naturally the aggressive yeah. fighter. Yeah. But we saw the comeback earlier from Kagemaru. Look at these two. <laughs> that guy on the left does not look happy ever. So it's gonna it'll be interesting to see how this works out. He's got this. He I'm rooting for him. Damn, so there's no Koreans. Oh my god, the worst handshake I've ever seen. I give it a, I give it a 5 out of 10. They're being generous. That's true. My bad. I'm sorry if I offended anyone that speaks Japanese or is part of the Japanese culture. <laughs> what did he say? Hey, thanks again for subscribing. Heavy arms and just another computer. Down to our top three. We're here at Sai, the precursor events in Evo Japan. Evo Japan happening January, late January 2018, January 26th through 28th here in Akihabara. Man. It's a great venue, actually, man. It that is awesome. crazy that Evo Japan is in Akihabara. The Gundam Cafe. Or the, or the AKB Cafe. Excuse me. That's right in the heart of Weeb City. I mean, no joke. If you're walking down the street in Akihabara, it's not uncommon to see like a giant truck that's just a massive anime mobile. It's just blaring anime music and it has anime like girls all over it. Or like you'll be walking in Akihabara and these guys drive by in fucking like Mario Kart cars. And they're wearing Mario costumes and Luigi costumes and they're throwing banana peels like it's the jackass the movie. Driving around in Akihabara like it's nothing. It's like another planet. I'm telling you, if you go to Evo Japan, shit's gonna be crazy. Evo Japan's gonna be crazy. Akihabara? That there might as well be tentacles coming out of the ground. It's like fucking Weibo Central. You can't even go into a store without seeing some kind of cooch and teats. They got all kinds of pornography. I mean, you, it doesn't even matter what kind of pornography you like. Himalayan white cat pornography, they got it. You know? They got it all. Get him. This is losers finals, right? Am I right? Yeah, it's got to be losers finals. And everyone that's tuning in right now, Wait a thanks minute. for tuning in. I know it's pretty late if you're watching back home or any of the English speaking places. Thanks for tuning in to watch Tekken with us. We I are forgot. here in the top 3. It's past my bedtime already. Damn, man. SD Tekken, you guys remember that website? I used to go to that website all the time, and then they stopped updating it. And I was like, man, what the fuck is this shit, dude? They stopped updating SD Tekken. I'm going to have to start a website. And that's when me and Dan, the Jewish guy, started avoiding the puddle.com. Because SD Tekken stopped updating their shit. We were like, what the fuck is this, man? Oh, Where are the updates? Wow. Man, Josie is going to be good. Oh, he doesn't get the, the screw afterwards, yeah, but hey. That was still a good man. combo for a back turn. Rage, Rage. Oh Rage my Rage. god, the big boo. Again, that's the boo of the day for Kagemaru. It's been helping him out so much. Okay. Oh, oh, we have a lot of people watching from all over the U.S. as well. Shout out to North Carolina. San Diego is also tuning in. Nice. Uh-oh, here we go. Right at the wall. Here's the mix-up. Going for the Ooh. beat option. Faking the low. All of those kicks are adding up. Yeah, they are. I was just thinking that too. Damn. Lows Not looking yeah, good. Know, it's crazy looking at the matchup because yeah. Steve plays so compact. His jabs, a lot of his mid pokes is down forward one. Sometimes it's too hard to kind of create space in the 3D sense. Like if you try to sidestep against him, he's going to catch you. 
That's why oftentimes it's better to duck. But if you're baiting the duck, you're baiting. What baiting character is that on the left? It's Josie it's Resolve. It's, option, it's hard to tell because these guys have customizations that suck six dicks. But, you know, hopefully when the game comes out, your customization won't suck so bad. Whether it's just the natural crouch ass motion itself. A lot of things that get under his eyes. Rosie Giselle. She's otherwise known as Rosie Giselle. At the end of the round, he was just opting to just not even deal any left. Oh, yeah. And he's going to have to take some risks here. How many people are watching the real stream? Guys, you guys got to go over there. 1700 on the real stream? That's not a good look, all right? You guys got to get your asses over there. Open up a tab, okay? Because we want them to be like, all right, this was a good idea. Letting Eris restream this shit was a brilliant idea. We don't, we don't want them to be like, man, what the fuck? This guy's taking all our views, you know? So get your asses over there. Click that shit, you know? So that next time they're like, all right. He gave us a lot of views. We're going to let him do it again. So get your asses over there. It's in the title. People are spamming the link. No, it's not meatspin.fr. I fell for that one already once today. Go over there. Open another tab. Follow him up. Who gives a shit? The Japanese stream has 4,100? Man, fuck that. Hey, close that tab. Close that tab. Open two tabs of my stream. For Christ's sake. 4100? Jesus Christ. Cancel that order. Cancel that order. For Christ's sake. I didn't know all that. I'm just kidding, of course. Just a couple of quick spins. Counter hit back one. That's the bread and butter. That's the Steve special. Counter hit back one. The classic. Oh, he goes for the mid there. So scary. Ooh, Superman punch. And it's going to... Ooh, I thought that was going to kill. Damn, he's got this. It's over. Otacon's toast. Otacon's toast. I'm totally kidding. You guys should definitely go follow them over there and click their shit. I love tournaments like this. Japanese tournaments... And I'm super grateful that they're letting me restream it. Because, you know, I wanted to restream all those tournaments on the Tekken channel, but they didn't let me. They were like, uh, nah, we want to let the Tekken channel grow or whatever. So we got to show them that they don't know what they're talking about. This is how you make the Tekken channel grow, which uh, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what we got to tell them. You know, so they let me do that shit again. You hear me? I think it'll help them grow because I'm going to tell all you stoners to go over there, right? And you will. I mean, you, you're being informed. I'm informing. Uh, out avoiding the puddle, is back one in this the same input as Injustice back one? Yeah, it is. This game uses the same notation system, at least for the face buttons. Right? One, two, three, and then four would be your trait button. In this game, it's not a trait button. It's an attack button. But yeah, back one. Back one is the same back one. Back square on PlayStation. Back X on shitty Xbox One. When you get it. For sure. And you know what? Just talking about it, like, you know, there are obviously strong characters in the game. Yeah. There's not an official tier list. Tier list is obviously based on theory, speculation, Definitely. and just overall experience with the game. But on paper, most of the time, people will say Steve is a much stronger character than Josie. Uh, sh he is in terms of the overall, um, in terms of the overall, uh, you know, game. Yeah, especially how they work against other characters. Yeah. But in this particular matchup, taking the player into consideration yeah. as well, it looks quite the opposite. This, this just comes to Interesting. Show I like listening to what JT has to say because uh, he's really, like I said earlier, he was very <laughs> plugged in. He is very plugged in to the Japanese scene. He knows what they think about the top tier characters. His opinion is definitely like informed. JT Chinoy's opinion is very informed. When I was there, he knew what he was talking about. Can you explain Soul Calibur notations? 
You just use the number pad on your keyboard. If you look at the number pad on your keyboard, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, replace those numbers with directions. So if I say 236B, look at your numpad, 236B is going to do a fireball motion. That's the Soul Calibur notation. Japanese people use that notation for Tekken. Uh, so do Koreans. So if you go to a Japanese website and look at a move list, it's going to say 236 LP for quarter circle forward 1. 236 LP. LP is 1. Left punch, right punch, RP. Hey, Sivlob. Ancient history. How's it going, man? Yeah, I, I, I agree. Kagamaru is fucking stepping in this guy's dinner. This is gonna kill though. But it doesn't matter. It means nothing. 66RK is the best way to say forward, forward, four. 66RK, forward, forward, four. Yeah, it's pretty rough. 66 six, RK forward forward four forward forward four. We haven't seen a pressure with the six, extended six. duck one either, so Yeah, that's still uh, a lot of syllables either way. Is Steve this Steve is on a flow chart? Oh. Well he's about to win with it. He's doing well now, right? Up two rounds to one, maybe he can make a comeback. Yeah, not yet, but I mean, still a chance on either side. Oh, into the low this time. Oh, got to the back. Guaranteed. If down forward two hits towards the back or the side, you can get a guaranteed duck two skyscraper. Ooh, he tried for it. Orbital fist. Man, this Josie player is really like. Uh, he seems so comfortable. Even though he's down in rounds this game, he's chilling. Doesn't look good for our hero. Wait a minute. I like that. Is he going to bring it all the way back? If he brings it all the way back, I think I'm going to be a big fan of this guy. I'm already a pretty big fan because I like the character and I like the Otacon look. But that's something that really was missing. You have to have a scary mid. You can't go high all day. Otherwise, Josie is just going to chop Hey, Eat Sports. Hey, everybody in the chat room I haven't said hello to. Thanks for tuning in. It's, a very minute thing, like it's getting kind of late earlier, on Big Saturday over here, but I'm still uh, firing all cylinders. We're in top three now. I think this is Losers Finals. Yeah. And uh, I forget who's in Grand Finals. Who the fuck was in Grand Finals again? The guy who beat Nobi, right? I forgot. Yeah, that's Markman in the background. I'm restreaming this Evo Psy tournament. This is a practice tournament for Evo Japan. It's called Evo Psy, and the Grand Finals for Tekken are taking place right now. My name is Mark Bannon here with JT and we're here. Okay. This is live. Hey second. Fulcrum, what's up? Oh yeah, the gym player, that's right. So it's gonna be the winner of this versus Jim. Man, that move is so oh, good. Orbital like punch. Extended. Orbital kick, I mean, orbital heal. You uh, yeah. Ouch. You're dead. Perfect. It's not looking good. Look at the wall carry. Oh. That's like a punch... Sabaki type of a move. It has a parry in it. Wow, what a combo! Dude, Otacon's getting turned up. Otacon's getting turned up. Come on, man. Bring this shit back. Fuck this Josie player. Damn, he wanted that counter hit. It's not looking good. He's getting chopped up. Josie player is chopping him in half. Oh, counter hit. Oh, he dropped it. It's a Christmas miracle. 
you have to be like really up close there with the oh god you got rage though okay albatross Ugh. oh he barely nah it ain't looking good he barely avoided death from that low this is it it's gonna be Josie versus Jim Characters that have names that start with J's are always top tier in Tekken. I'm just kidding. I don't know if that's really true. What other characters have names? Jack? Who else has a name that starts with a J? Jack, too. He's not top tier. He had the right beat. He blocked the down four three, but wasn't ready for the follow up. Jizuya? <laughs> Who the fuck is Jizuya? Is that uh, is that Kazuya's sister? Kazuya and Jizuya Mishima. Damn, I didn't know about that. Jizuya. Maybe we'll learn about her in the story mode when early seventeen finally uh, comes around. Fucking Jizuya, huh? All right.